turn 10. So this was the attack with the mercenaries. Oh, I'm fucked. Okay, so... Looks like the archers were posi positioned up. <clears throat> so fire closest for them was actually... Um, probably these guys tied with these guys, and they picked these guys. Um, which means I'm probably going to lose, because they're going to shoot these guys who are horribly weak to arrows, and I need them to kill these. So let's see what happens. Yeah, they're getting torn up. Here come the heavy infantry. I don't look doesn't look like I'm routing those archers either. Yeah, it's gonna and they routed, so I'm gonna lose. And that's that. Oh well. Okay, they probably killed almost nothing. Yeah. Fucked by positioning, that's okay. They're just mercenaries, so it's not a big deal when they all die. Uh knights going into what are these? Deer tribe? <clears throat> Should just be a slaughter. Yep, and they just cut them apart. Okay, one guy got tangle vines. Oh well. I assume I lost none. Yep. And then this one into the Hobergs, who will take a while to clear, but they won't be able to actually hurt me because they have six strength and a two damage stick, which brings their damage total to eight. Um, my guys have. 18 props from full chainmail, plus a kite shield. Um, so on a parry, the odds of being damaged by a Hoberg are almost zero, even with a crit. And even if they don't parry, um, more likely than not, they will not be damaged, even if it's a crit. So basically the Hobergs are going to swing and do nothing most of the time. Yeah, see a couple one-point damage, uh, mostly zeros, and then they route. No more Hobergs. And no losses. Uh, arena. <laughs> it looks like uh, Bissia was the only person who actually sent someone. Um, he sent in a demon bread. Um, which Bissia was he? I think he's... Okay, so he's EA. So a demon bread is the assassin. I don't think they actually start with one of those. Oh, that's right, he was doing a, some kind of weird assassin gimmick. Okay, whatever. Um... That gimmick is not going to work at all, by the way. Um, everybody's just going to make some patrollers and kill all of his assassins. But he got the champion's helmet. Hooray. Uh, so his assassin is slightly more dangerous. Uh, I got an event. Plus cold three. That might actually not be bad, because I took heat three um, for points, and because uh, heat makes fire better. Um... And it's winter. So that took my scales down from um, heat 2 to cold 1, which is actually great. That is plus 5% income for me. So the misfortune event actually helped me. Um, so these guys, I'm going to combine those. Um, oh, I mean, neighbor uh, or up here. Um, what the fuck? Okay, so. He is Turmoil Luck. That's a really odd and probably terrible choice. Um, Ur needs a shitload of gold to mass their really expensive foreign mages who are also really good. Um, so you want as much gold as possible to mass those. Um, and with Turmoil Luck, he's not going to have so much um, except from events. So I, that's that build's probably going to hurt him um, quite a bit. That's not... A good choice, in my opinion. Um, so he's up here somewhere. Probably over here. I don't know. Um, so I'm just going to go this way. Um, I, I might negotiate these provinces. We'll find out. I'll do that out of game later. And uh, we'll see if I can negotiate these. Uh, but I'll either negotiate these or this. One or the other. Either these two or the throne. Probably be better off with the throne. Thrones are good. Um, and then he's sighted automatically, and uh, they usually have like some kind of perk. And since I am using blessed units, uh, blessed perks will be useful. So I'm going to run him into the Atavi. Uh, the monkeys will do nothing. They'll be actually easier to kill than Hoberks. So that should not be a problem. Um, these guys are grouped up. Where should I send them? I can send them into Jaguar Tribe. 
I think I will. Um, so I'm going to send these into Jaguar Tribe. And that shouldn't be an issue. Oh, and there's a bunch of unrest here, so there's probably an unrest site. Um, so that's... I don't have any blood, so I can't search it, but there's probably some kind of stupid blood site here. Which sucks, because this is High Gold Province. Um, that's being ruined by unrest. Oh well. Um, so those guys go there. Those guys go there. These guys are going to come down here. Um, that was the disastrous attack that actually didn't do much of anything. Um, that fort finished. I'm going to make start making Grand Masters, uh, recruit them, and just loop them forever. So I'm going to make as many as I can for a very long time. Hopefully get some either Earth 1 or Air 1 randoms first. Um, so I can start searching, otherwise I'll be a little behind. But Oh well. Um, and then I've got all my crossbows ready, right? Yeah. So crossbows, crossbows. Two blockers. Move those in here. Oh, did I pick those up? No. So move those all together. Um, I'm not going to try to move into the throne because um, I would have four arrow catchers. Oh, actually, which mercenary? Oh, city guard. So these are militia. Um, even I won't recruit those. What are they to cost? Yeah, they're 140 gold for a bunch of crap that will just die. Um, if there's any provinces without any ranged, I could send the city guard in. Um, and do a minimum bid. No. They, they could beat that. Uh, we'll see. I might bid those and put them here and just suicide them into this and probably get it. Um, and then maybe clear that as well. Or, actually, if I put them here, attack here, uh, clear that, and on that same turn, these guys will come here, pick up what I make here, and then combine them two into the throne. That's actually a good idea. But it's not that important, so I'm just going to bid one over minimum. And hope I get them. Doesn't really matter if I don't. Uh, yeah, they're going to Jaguar Tribe. Oh, that position? They're fine. They're going into Monkeys. That will be easy kills. I'm making my Grand Masters. And I will also... Oops. Yeah, that's Witch Hunter, right? Yeah. Witch Hunter and a bunch of blockers. I can only afford a few. See, they're so expensive. I don't like these. I'll make like that many, and then after that I'll just make more crossbows. Because my those guys only exist to block. The more crossbows I have, the faster my enemy routes. Uh, let's see what throne this is. I forgot what throne that was. I should have paid attention. Uh, since this guy can see sights, he did see the throne. But I wasn't paying attention. I, actually, I'll go look at the video later, see which one it is. Um, I think Samog just made them all level 1. Yeah, he always does that. So they won't be that important. So no big deal. Uh, so we've got those going down. How much resources do I have here? So I do want roads here eventually. Um, where should I put my temple? I can put it, because I don't want to put it neighboring somebody, because it just makes it very tempting to go step on it. Uh, so I'd like to make it at least one province inside. Although, you know, with Nazca, it doesn't matter where I put it. If, if he uh, attacks me, he's probably going to just grab all of my provinces at once, um, unless I have a ton of PD, which I will not in general. Um, I'll just position counter grade groups. Uh, in each fort, just if I'm at peace, just in case. And if he attacks me while I'm fighting someone else, then I'd probably lose. But, you know, if that's Dominions, if you get dogpiled, you lose the game, usually. That just means you failed at Diplomacy. Um, so I can move a Witch Hunter out and stick, him, stick a Temple here, uh, so that way you can move into this province or this province to pick up Knights. Uh, bless knights and go fight someone with them. Um, and my knights are recruit anywhere. Uh, not that I'm going to be able to mass them in any significant quantity. Because look, even though I have production 3 and I control everything but that. Um, I only have 255 re 25 resources. And these are 56 each. Um, because I am paying for barding. Uh, that Illwinter thinks is a good idea. So I'm paying a bunch of resources for no reason. 
which makes them cost prohibitive. So I could afford four, best case. That's not good. That's really bad, actually. Um, yeah, so I'm going to move one of these. My old men. Fucking old men. Look, they're all old. Stupid Mari. Okay, so I'm going to move him here. Script him to retreat. Actually, let me check. Um, okay, that is a good indie pop type. So if I pump that to 20, that will protect my temple from barbarians. Um, since I am running Misfortune, I'm going to have to deal with those. So 20 should make me relatively safe. Um, I would still possibly, actually likely, lose if it's a night attack, which are also possible since this is MA All Nations. Um, but we'll discover that. Okay. And then make some of these. Make some of these. Um, so I'll send this guy back. Uh, that will make three. Next turn I'll make another three. Make this temple. And then the turn after that, I'll move him with his six knights here, and I'll recruit a friar, and then they can go this way. Assuming they're still clear. Um, but there are a lot of provinces up here. There should be a player in this area, but their expansion must be absolutely terrible for them to not have come to me yet. Okay, so that's a plan. That will give me one more ex expansion group, which normally I wouldn't expect to even be able to use. We're almost to year two, and there's still a whole bunch of indies left, which there should not be. Um, that's really bad uh, play from other people. And then I think I'll put my third fort over here. Um, so that way everything will be within one move once I have roads here. They'll all be able to move to defend each other, which I like to have. Um, my research is still pretty bad, but that's okay. It'll start to ramp up in a minute here. Um, I only have one magic one, but I don't need too much rapid research because all I'm going to do with it is make lesser fire elementals if necessary. And then I haven't decided. Well, then next I'll get Thou, thou One for communions, and then I'll probably go down evocation. Um, yeah, actually, that would be good. Fire Cloud will wreck Nazca if I'm attacked by them. It will also wreck anybody else with low armor, such as my northern neighbor. So this will be acceptable. Evo 4 next. Um, flaming Arrows, of course, eventually. But on crossbows, it's not as good anyway, because you only get to attack every other turn. So I'm not going to prioritize it. Um, so I'll probably go Conjuration 3, Evo uh, Thou 1, and then Evo 4 for my research. I think that's all the things we can do this turn. Yeah, so this guy, I'll just have him chill. I'll move him when he's needed. Right now he's not. Um, maybe he'll start roads at some point. And I did start all my, yeah, troops. Okay. And that's everything for this turn.